dark clouds have drawn me out for some photography, but I couldn't figure out where to go. So I just grabbed some film, uh, loaded up my bag. I thought I was gonna go for some street photography, but I'm going to Vasquez Rocks. Hi everyone, this is John. I hope you're well. I am at a place called Vasquez Rocks. It's actually a famous uh, filming location. Um, a lot of westerns are shot here or filmed here in the past. I think a Star Trek movie. It's been rainy here for the last several weeks and um, it's actually been kind of nice. I got to admit, I kind of like it. They can get kind of tired of the rain, but <clears throat> occasionally there's breaks where you can go outside and today's a good a day, good example of one. I was just looking out the windows like a moody and cloudy because um, I've been lamenting actually the last couple weeks because I've been busy with work and sick a little bit um, so I just, just stayed inside and kind of missed the heavy weather and for one day it was like super clear warm and sunny and all that and you know it was nice but it was like oh man I missed I missed the drama so um, today is super cloudy so I thought you know got these heavy storm clouds and so I, I thought let's go out and do some photography um, and with the increase of film prices you know why not go shoot some film uh, good thing I already had a stock of um, black and white films, so I think it lends itself well to this weather. Um, anyway, so I'm out here with my Hasselblad, um, just looking at the rock right now. Um, I think I missed it by a moment because when I was parking, the sun was just peeking out and spotlit right on the, the 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 point itself. But sadly, the sun's gone, so I'm just waiting a minute to see if it comes back. And occasionally there's people that climb to the point of it, so I'm debating um, do I want people on there or not, but at the point, at the moment, there's nobody up there, so the debate's kind of moot, so it's a matter of how long do I feel like standing here. Anyway, <clears throat> for film, I've got um, T-Max 100. Um, I set the ISO on my light meter to 50. The light meter is just an app on my phone. So um, I'm using that as my guide. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm just waiting. While we're here and waiting, um, I thought I'd just talk about my composition a little bit. Um, there's these rocks down here that just form a little frame. So I've, I've, used, I've put those at the bottom under the rocks they create a frame underneath so I just thought it makes a nice composition so after that first shot I switched to a wider angle lens um, and I thought I'd move around a little bit and see if I can find a spot with to get more foreground um, it's, it's actually a little difficult out here um, there's a lot of um, small trees. Um. Well, what is it you want? We want a shrubbery. Plants that create that look you know looks nice out here, but um, it creates a lot of busyness for a photo, in my opinion. So um, there's a lot of trails here, footpaths that uh, I think create nice leading lines. So trying to find where the trees and the bushes aren't um, a distraction too much. Um, so. Yeah, anyway, so I'm, I found this other spot. I'm just waiting for the sun to come out again. Um, as I was moving around, of course the sun came out. Um, I took a meter reading, got set up, and just, just as I pulled the dark slide, the sun was gone. So the sun's come out. So I moved back to the spot where it's more of the wide angle and the sun is just peeking out. I have it set to 30 of the second at f11, doing it real fast. Boom. There's people up there, but um, I'll have to live with it because it's actually kind of nice having people up there because I, I guess it gives a scale to the to the rock. Well, now there's somebody at the at a peak, so let's get one more shot. Film's cheap, isn't it? All right. Let's move to another spot.
it just started raining for a little bit and I see the clouds gonna pass, but um, covered the camera. So I'm just waiting it out. So I was walking around, I came across this little uh, puddle area. Um, I've been out here a couple times before over the years and it's always um, super dry out here. So seeing even just a puddle is like, oh, a puddle at best gives rocks. I'm sure it happens all the time, but um, it's rare for me. So anyway, so I found this spot where the camera's down on the ground, um, but just over the water. I have this tripod, it's nice. There's no center column. So I can put it pretty much flat with the ground. Having it low to the ground has its uh, ups and downs. Normally, um, when I'm shooting with a digital, especially on a newer camera, I have a flip screen. I can just uh, look down uh, from where I'm at, press the autofocus to where I want it to focus, and I'm good. Um, with this camera, obviously, there's no autofocus. So what I did is um, I actually saw this video of from Nick Carver where he showed how to, how to use a lens. Go figure. Um, there's these markings, basically you measure um, the distance you want to have your focal point. And then um, when you change the aperture, there's these two needles that move showing the range that it's in focus. So um, I measured the spot I want, it's about eight and a half feet. So I set my focus to eight feet, eight and a half feet, F16. And um, so I'm just waiting for the light. Um, so. Thank you, Nick Carver, wherever you're at. Um. I'm walking around to the other side and I switch to the color film um, not that I that, not that you can see it but I'm showing it to you anyway it's pretty interesting on this side um, it's kind of like the other side of a waterfall seeing the back side of water but uh, some crazy um, differences in the rock it's like really jagged in some places and super smooth in others I have seven shots left so uh, let's see what we can do So I went up on the rock a little bit um, where I was standing there was someone next to me so I couldn't really talk so I was just focusing on the picture uh, at least I couldn't talk to the camera because it just feels weird I can't get over it um, so I've got to work on but uh so anyway I got the shot where it it looked to me it looked really cool where there's this little channel swooshing up to the top of the rock and um, I got a couple shots one there was people in it because I just thought they were gonna be up there a while I just thought I got to get it while I'm there but they started coming down so I was able to get a shot without any people so I was excited for that. Head out now so um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments or questions feel free to ask down below um, feel free to subscribe all that good stuff I'll see you next time. Bye.